So, what's the, so when did you when did you get to UCF? You've been here what since July or? I got here August. Late in August. August. Yeah. Okay, so you were in the portal, right? And so obviously looking at the different schools, different schools get in touch. Uh, what what stood out to you about UCF? Why did you want to come down to Orlando and play with Coach Dawkins? Um, Coach Dawkins and the coaching staff really sold me. Um, especially with the trainers, the trainers, you know, Ray and Rock. Everything just felt perfect, man. They, they called me consistently every day. You know, some programs, you know, called me probably once a week. They called me every day. I was just telling you, you know, we have a great team. We want you. you can be a part of it. So what did they kind of sell you on? Uh, you're obviously going to be a big piece of what they do. Did they talk about how you would fit into the team? Like, what, what yeah. do you see your role is going to be now that you're finally here? Um, they sold me on the... Just, you know, it's more than basketball with them. You know, it's more of a family. You know, connection is always going to be there even after basketball. And you know, that sold me a lot, especially coming from my last program. Um, in terms of roles, I'm just coming in and being a leader. You know, one of the older guys, you know, being one of the defenders on the wing and the guy that can create for himself and others. What would you say uh, you're known for on the court? How would you describe your style of play? How would others maybe describe you? Like, for fans that are going to be UCF fans by seeing you for the first time, uh, what are they going to see in a couple weeks when the season starts? Um, it depends on who you ask. <laughs> I mean, you know, some people say I'm a defender. Some people say I'm not a defender. Um, some people um, just say I'm a good passer. You know, some people call me a scorer. Okay. Um, I know I've gotten a lot of um, recognition from my three-point shooting these last past couple of years. So, I mean, I think I'm a guy that can you know, do a little bit of everything on the basketball court. But I think one of my strengths is creating for myself and others on the basketball court. So what's kind of like your signature shot? You said you do a little bit of everything. Is it just kind of creating your shot and getting to the getting to the bucket and I mean, creating a bucket for yourself? Yeah. Or is it an outside shot? Or I'm a scorer. I'm a, I'm a Whatever it takes. Yeah, I'm a three-level scorer, man. Um, I make a lot of hustle plays, so I think hopefully the crowd will like that. I make a lot of hustle plays. Um, I'm a scorer, man. Yeah, there's you know there's guys like Darius Johnson and C.J. Walker. They've been part of this team, but there's a lot of new faces, such as yourself. So what's the process been like, and, and everyone becoming acclimated, the chemistry down? I know you've had some scrimmages recently. How's that element work with everyone learning how to play with each other? Um, it's been good. It's been a fun challenge, you know, learning everybody's, you know, tendencies and personnel. Um, it's been real fun. Um, just trying to change the culture, you know, and not like it needs to be changed, but it's changing some things around, you know, a lot of younger guys, a lot of older guys, you know, just learning from each other, you know, and Coach Dawkins does a great job, you know, with us, so it's been fun. So you got CJ Walker, CJ Kelly. What do you know? Like, are you still CJ or what? The, yeah. You I'm turn around and you're like, which one are you talking about? Yeah, we do that a lot. There's a lot of J's. It's PJ, <laughs> CJ, DJ. That's right. A lot of J's, but with me and CJ, um, we're both CJ. Um, some of the guys call me Kelly. Okay. You know, that's my last name. Some guys call me CK. You know, which I'm not too fond of. That's like my dad. They call my dad CK. <laughs> but I mean. You know, I got you. Yeah. So, so who has impressed you on this team as you kind of work with these guys and, and you're on the court? Like, who do you think is going to have a really good season? A lot of these guys have impressed me. It's hard to single out one guy. I mean, it's such a talented team. You know, um, it's been it's been tough. I mean, one of the guys that has impressed me, you know, not really knowing much about him, is Mike Durr. Man, the man's a force down there, man. You know, great hands, can finish with the left, the right, can shoot it. It's just like, you know, what can't he do, you know, you know for a bigger guy and another guy, and a young um, Taylor, Hendrix. his brother Tyler. Yeah. They're both talented, very talented. I'm, I watch these guys, and I'm just like, wow. Like, you know, they don't even try, it looks like sometimes, you know. And then I got to go out there, hop on them, you know, and make them better, you know, so. I think you did a scrimmage recently with Georgia. I know you've done a couple of those. How good was that to play another opponent and not just the same, you know, guys on the practice squad every week? How beneficial was that, and what did you learn from that experience? The scrimmage was well. You learned a, you learned a lot. You've seen a lot. Um, you've seen what we definitely can be and what we are right now. Um, the scrimmage was very well. I learned a lot from my guys, you know, where they want to be on the court, where they want me to be on the court. Um, how the coaches are, you know, how they're fiery, 
So it's all good. It was it was good to play against other people. What do you want to accomplish? Is this this is your last season, right? This is your last year of eligibility, I take yes. it. So it's a big year for you, obviously. What do you want to accomplish here in your last season of college basketball? I just want to win. You know, out of my this is my fourth year playing. Um, I've only had one winning year. You know, so I just I just want to win. That, that's that's all I want. You know, <laughs> average 40 points, average two points. No, listen, we're winning. There's nothing like it, man. There's nothing like it. So I would say I just I just want to win and help the program. You know, to help take the program you know, as far as it can go. I know everyone's kind of learning each other. A lot of new faces. Who's the funniest guy on the basketball team? Who's who's the guy that always makes you laugh? I don't know, they all make, probably Mike Durr. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Durr, I laugh at a lot of people in general, but me and Mike are like real close, so it's just like, um, we laugh at we laugh at coaches, we laugh at players. Um, some people are just funny in general, like like Ithiel Horton, just funny in general, like he's just a funny guy, so I would say those people. So, have you ever been compared to anyone? Like, is there anyone in the M NBA that you try to emulate and kind of <laughs> model your game after? I mean, I know those are big standards, oh, but uh, who, who do people oh. maybe tell you that you remind them of a little bit? Who'd you say? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> the, oh, wow, okay. Yeah, my teammate just said Steph Curry because like, I shoot in practice, but um, oh, yeah, I get compared to, like, so many different people. Uh, I mean, I guess it all just depends on how much of a fan of basketball you are, you know. I don't play like Stephen Curry, but he just compared me to him, you know. Um, I get compared to guys like Paul George. Um, I guess skill set wise, um, Joe Johnson, I get compared to. I'm not going to say any other higher names to keep my expectations down. I'll just go with those guys. So, it, I mean, you can, it's coming right around the corner. I mean, the season, everything, you, all the work, you, hard work you put in, it's about to, to hit the court. So, how excited are, are the guys and what are your expectations for this year? The guys are very excited. Um, expectations are high. This, is, um, this program expects nothing but greatness. So, the high, um, expectations are high. The guys are ready. We're, we're tired of killing each other in practice. You know, so, we're just ready, you know, like two weeks, I think, from now. So. All right, man. I appreciate it. Good luck to you, man.